A lot of people have been talking about unbigging their back, baby. I need to unbig my front. What are we going to do about that? My camera is bugging y'all. Hope it works. You don't want to focus? That's crazy. Oh wow. <laughs> we having tech, 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 technical difficulties. <laughs> What's tea? Alright, had to switch to the phone real quick because my camera obviously has beef with me. I don't know what that's about, but welcome, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Shatera. You're going to love it here, I promise you. So just go ahead and subscribe because I come with all the vibes. I do all the things and you'll have fun over here, I promise you. So this morning, I had like the best morning ever, y'all, because I just got out of a funk. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later, but these past two weeks been kicking my ASS and... This morning, it's a Saturday, I woke up, I cleaned my house, girl, like deep clean. Nothing motivates me to get my house clean fast and on point more than knowing that I have company coming over and my dad had to stop by and pick up something from my house. So I'm like, I don't even care that he's not staying. Baby, this house needs to be in tip top shape. My curls look pretty cute today, I had a little braid out, but yeah, like I was saying, woke up, cleaned my crib, y'all saw that I had a quick little workout session. If you've been following along my channel, then you know I just started the 75 Soft Challenge, and I ain't gonna cap to you, it's been feeling a little, a little hard, a little, I might just well have done the 75 hard if that was the case, because it's been feeling a little different, but I've been trying to stick to it stay consistent because i really just want to commit to bettering myself and physically i have felt so good y'all i'm starting to get a grip with everything but girl it's been difficult because i don't know if you know but i have a nine to five i try my best to stay consistent on youtube and social media da, 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 so i'm an influencer and uh, having two jobs and being an adult and having to remember to do all these little things on this 75 soft list is not easy. Individually, they are very easy things to do. It's like read every day, work out every day. But you got to remember all those tasks on top of everything else you got to do, girl. And it's just, it been, it's been kicking my booty, okay? On top of that, I had really tough work weeks. I don't know if it's because your girl recently got promoted and they try to test my gangster, but girl, it's been a situation. So with all that in mind, I've also recently ran out of every single hygiene product I own all at once. That's insane. Like I'm, I'm not capping, like literally, I scraped my underarm this morning trying to put on deodorant. That's how, <laughs> that's how little was in the jaw. Like, you gotta be shitting me. You dead ass? You dead ass. Like, I ran out of, I'm running out of face wash, body wash, mouth wash. Oh, what the freak? Body lotions. Is y'all crooked? I done ran out of body lotions. I gotta get my dental hygiene situation. It's like, I feel like I don't have anything that I normally use on a day-to-day -day basis. So clearly, as you can tell, oh, we are at Target. I'm about to get myself together. I have a list that I'm gonna try to stick to, but come on, I'm a woman and I'm going into Target, baby. Target gonna tell me what I need at the end of the day. 
so yeah it looks like it's about to rain and i just really hope that that isn't the case also i think i ran over something and i really pray that my tire is okay but yeah y'all you about to go in here and see what is popping see what's popping i'm going to continue to vlog off my phone because my camera is giving me a hard time right now my camera is also broken y'all oh my god like that's so embarrassing i gotta go take it a best buy or something come on sony get it together but yeah it it is about the rain bye y'all let's head in because that's crazy y'all i swear today must be my lucky day because i got a quiet cart that never happens i always get one that like rattles every everywhere girl be loud i don't like that but currently we are in the dental hygiene section right and i want to find an actual tongue scraper usually i get these but i want like a real one instead of a disposable one yeah we're gonna go with this I don't appreciate that they are playing music, but this is my favorite. $16 is crazy, but fuck it, we ball. Also really want to get some teeth whitening strips. I do oil pull, but like, I need something that's going to work a little faster. So boom, I think these are all the things for my dental hygiene. So this is the deodorant I have now. Girl, I didn't pay attention last time. That is not what we want. That don't have no aluminum. I need all the aluminum. Like the deodorant that doesn't have aluminum, it just makes me feel very sticky and I don't appreciate that. I really want to try Native out. So I think I'm going to give her a go. I love vanilla down. So got to do vanilla, coconut vanilla, right? Start with the small bottle first. Okay. Wait. I like this better than the vanilla. And I like the cucumber. I've really been wanting to try these. I want this one for early stages but that one's twelve dollars and this one eight dollars so <laughs> yeah i've been meaning to try the as i am brand so i think i'm gonna pick up their leave-in conditioner as well as a rose Mary water because lately your girl here been dry honey this is my all-time fave body lotion ever smells so good okay so i'm done all of my hygiene shopping but now i'm just you know scrolling through the home section trying to see if target wants to tell me to buy anything but i'm not really seeing anything Time to go. All right, y'all, please excuse the quality. I really need to make sure I need to see what's going on with my camera because this ain't it. But I ended up spending exactly what I thought I was going to spend in Target. I was like, be prepared to spend $200 because you need a lot of stuff. And I spent $202. So I was like almost right on the nose. But I just pulled up to one of my favorite fuss spots around my way. It's called Le Bledo Eatery. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But um, it's really, really good. Like, it's a little in the cut. And I like that. The flavor of the broth. Fire. Their um, egg rolls that I be getting are really good, too. So, I'm starving. I realized all I had to eat today was a parfait. And it's currently, like, after 3. So, yeah. We got to run up in here and give me some fun. I feel like it's perfect weather for it, too. Because it's actually pretty chilly outside. So, let me show you what I get in my fun order. Well, actually, I'm doing something different today. Because I'm trying to be more healthier. So, I'm going to show you that. <laughs> Yeah, 
A lot of model bitches check for me, nigga don't check for me unless you got checks for me. I kept a sit like a hobo, no checking me. Way back when Kilo had this body trust with you. So many hoes had to get up, I said to me. She left her body home and brought her net to me. I did a walk through that city. Y'all, I think my camera just doesn't like being on my car mount. I think it needs more stability because it's working perfectly fine now that I'm at home. And, you know, it's on a more stable tripod. So... I don't know, that kind of sucks though because it works when it wants to. Like, I definitely used my car mount in a in like my previous video. So, that's annoying, but we're back home, clearly. I ain't get too into that fun because honestly, it was not that good, y'all. And see, that's why sometimes being a fat ass is actually helpful because my usual meal is uh, steak and oxtails for my proteins because you get two. But here I go, trying to be healthier and get chicken and shrimp because, you know, that's lighter on your stomach. You know, red meat doesn't digest that well. I did get a little steak because, you know, you get to have two when the shrimp was an animal. But no, it was, it was still good, but it wasn't what I was used to. You know, it wasn't like, it wasn't hitting like it's normally hitting, feel me? So... But I do think they gave me a large, even though I paid for a small, so that was tea. But I feel like I showed you guys everything that I got. But I do kind of want to just go through everything once more. Because honestly, I got to remind myself what the freak I got. So boom, ended up picking the peach nectar and the cucumber and mint body washes the way these smelled in the store yeah but you know those are very scented so for my girly i got regular non-fragranted sensitive dove in terms of hair i showed y'all as i am right but i also got some oil just straight from my scalp you know what i'm saying the one i make is kind of heavier and i don't always want to use that and then i also got a detangler this is the my favorite detangler ever the kiki curly from um who the freak make this is it kiki curly oh that's the brand kiki curly <sighs> clearly i'm having a brain fart y'all saw the eos this was my old one i was literally pumping this thing this morning trying to get some lotion out because but i have some nivea lotion but this is my favorite you know like the same thing goes for the third breath like this is my favorite i have some scope mouthwash but i don't want to use that did y'all see i'm gonna put in the clip right now did y'all see how they had these things locked down that is just so ghetto to me like <laughs> And that's new because that has never been the case in my Target. I thought when I was living back southeast, yeah, everything was on lockdown. But now that I live in Alexandria, you know, I'm not used to experiencing that. So when I walked over there and both of these, like the entire La Roche Poste line was completely locked and loaded. I was so thrown. But this is my face wash that I use. Love her zone. She gets real sudsy. I used to use the hydrating cleanser, but that one feels like you rub a Vaseline on your face and I don't appreciate it. And then the gag is this isn't even my favorite moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer, I don't know the brand. It's that it's one of them Korean skincare lines. But that's so at Ulta, so we gotta wait till we go there. But going back to dental hygiene, y'all saw me pick these up and then got the mighty patches because, girl, y'all know I be breaking out 24 7. I'm breaking off right now, you just can't tell because I'm going on a little bit of makeup. Girl, skin be horrible. Y'all see my deodorant, and then I also picked up some Nair because. I don't do waxes anymore, and I never will. I was contemplating on getting one because I'm about to go out of town. And I ain't seen my man since January. So I might get one, but I don't know. And then the other things that I picked up were some stuff for the kitchen. So, yeah. That is everything. I feel so dehydrated because I wasn't able to drink water, like, when I was out and about. <coughs> But yeah, 
what I wanted to talk to you guys about too, while I have y'all on the phone with me, because <laughs> these filming vlogs be feeling like I'm on FaceTime. But how do y'all feel about me diving more into lifestyle content on my YouTube channel? Because I'm asking you, even though I already have it locked in my mind, that that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes I'll be asking for advice and for opinions, knowing that I'm not going to take them. I'll just be curious to know what y'all would think. But I do care about y'all opinions, so comment down below. Because y'all know I am a tutorial girly, hair, makeup, nails, da da da. I have branded myself as the girl who does her own everything, and I love that. I love that y'all can come to my channel and learn a thing or two, but after a while they get boring. Like how many times y'all gonna watch me put on some pressures? How many times y'all gonna watch me style my natural hair? Like I get it to do it here and there when you have a big style. Like oh my god, I'm planning on doing some braids very soon. And um I'm about to do like a lot of maintenance because I'm going I say out of town, girl. I'm going to another part of Virginia. But, um, what was I saying? Sometimes I be having, like, be feeling like I got ADHD. I'm about to do a lot of maintenance because I'm, like, going somewhere, right? So, I'll probably document that. But, every single time I do something, I'm not about to be filming this tutorial because it's the same old thing when I don't want y'all to get bored with my content. So, I'm basically letting y'all know <laughs> that I'm going to be doing more vlogs and just like really chit chatty videos like this because I find that that's how you really get to know who you're watching. Y'all won't be able to understand, learn, and know my personality through hair videos and nail tutorials. You just won't. So instead of sprinkling them here and there, I'm pro they're probably going to be a little bit more consistent and then the tutorials will be sprinkled in. You're still going to get the best of both worlds, don't worry. But I want y'all to know who the freak I am, okay? And honestly, it's a really good thing for me to do because I want to continue to build my personal brand. I want y'all to know, like, when you hear Jocera Brene, you kind of, like, know who she is. I feel like when I watch Aaliyah's face, I know her. That's my bestie. When I watch Kyra, I'm unique. That's my homegirl. When I watch Angui Tacho, I think that's how you say her last name. That's my sister from another mister. You feel me? Like, I feel like I know them because they talk to the camera so much. So I want y'all to know me. So I'm going to talk to the camera more. Okay? So, I think I'm about to call my sister because she claimed that she was coming over my house around 3. And here it is, going on 4. So, I wonder if she's going to answer. It's probably my fault because I ain't text her back. So, yeah. Ooh, now I got to put this stuff away. Which is the part that I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> um. So, yeah. I'm going to link back with y'all once I clear off my bathroom vanity. So, it's the next day. Hi, friends. We are about to go on a walk, okay? Y'all know I'm doing 75 soft. I have to keep up with my workouts, but I want to show y'all my fit. So, cute little essentials hoodie. Thank you. Shout out to my man. Black leggings from Amazon. They're linked in the bio or description box. My newbies, some socks, and my little bag in case I need something. So, let's go. So, I really hope y'all are able to hear me because it is a little windy out here. It feels good. Like, it's not cold initially i was just gonna go to the gym for my workout today but low-key i didn't want to like i was kind of dreading it because for one i'm tired of seeing the same people i've been going to the gym roughly around the same time every day so i'm starting to see like familiar faces and i don't really know how i feel about that but this upcoming week is going to be nice weather so i think i'm going to replace going to the gym next week with walking they say walking straight fat and I need this fat off my back and my front to get gone. A lot of people have been talking about unbigging their back, baby. I need to unbig my front. What are we gonna do about that? What are we gonna do about that? And I don't know how the girlies be doing it right now. I got y'all on a little like mobile tripod and my arm is tired. It's actually pretty heavy. How do the girlies be doing this all the time? I don't know. I'm also getting stares from people. It's like, Mind your business, keep it pushing. But yeah, I'm going to walk the entire 45 minutes today. I started at 12.45. So we'll see how far along I get down this trail. 
and then if it's not far enough i can just add on to the length each time i go for a walk but yeah y'all want to see my surroundings Okay, you guys, so I'm basically wrapping up with my walk. It was so good. I saw so much wildlife. And I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here because now I want to start editing this video so I can get it out. So I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I hope you are down for the more lifestyle content. I got a text this morning from my friend saying that she's joining me with the 75 Soft Challenge. So I'm so excited. If this inspires you, let me know. And I'll see y'all in the next video.